What's new in CodePeer 19? CodePeer is AdaCore's advanced static analysis tool. It dives deep into any Ada application and analyzes it for runtime and logic errors. As you will see, it even scans your code for security vulnerabilities according to MITRE's Common Weakness Enumeration List. Compared to a human reviewer, CodePeer has the power to analyze large complex systems automatically and autonomously, is reliably thorough, and never gets tired. So if you have Ada code, whether or not you've ever used anything from AdaCore, CodePeer can help. If you're new to CodePeer, there are two new developments that make it easier to get started using this tool. First, a detailed description of your build architecture is no longer necessary to get started. The new dash dash simple project switch, along with a very basic project that lists source directories, is enough to perform basic level zero analysis of any corpus of ADA files. Even if you might be missing some specs, even if you use implementation-specific attributes, pragmas, or other extensions, CodePeer will have no problem analyzing your code. Second, CodePeer's analysis levels have been adjusted. Level zero, our new entry level and default, does not invoke the traditional CodePeer engine anymore, but instead employs fast and light lol checkers. Lol stands for libadalang, which is our library for developing tools that can process syntactic and semantic information about any Ada program. These new libadalang based lol checkers that we've developed show few false positives, are very fast, can take advantage of multiple CPU cores, and are user extensible. Additional light checkers are available besides our lol checkers. You can tell CodePeer to invoke GNATCheck, for instance, so that it can report on conformance to your coding standard. CodePeer is even able to invoke GNAT as a light checker. Even if you don't use the GNAT Pro compiler, you can still benefit from the warnings that this compiler generates when examining your code. All of the light checkers emit messages that are captured in CodePeer's historical database. CodePeer's historical database allows you to compare the results of different runs so that you can see whether new issues have appeared or whether issues have been fixed. It also allows your engineers to review and annotate messages with different kinds of status flags. Speaking of comparing different runs, one weakness that we were aware of in previous versions of CodePeer was that it was possible for successive runs on the same Ada code to yield slightly different results. This is because previous versions of CodePeer used timeouts to limit their analyses. So, depending on the variation of load on a machine, it was possible to get different results for precisely the same Ada code. CodePeer 19 is the first version of the tool to instead count steps rather than to look at the time. So, Subprogram analysis will always stop in a reproducible way, always yielding the same results given the same Ada code. As you outgrow the basics, our improved documentation will help you learn more about how you could use CodePeer. It has been reorganized for CodePeer 19, and there is a new section describing a variety of user workflows, with examples of integrating CodePeer into different aspects of a development process. There are more ways now for groups to collaborate using a shared CodePeer database. There's a new GPS client server capability, and that allows groups to perform their CodePeer runs on a server and connect to a common CodePeer database on that server. GPS clients on individual user workstations can work with the same common database and can coordinate the handling of reviews. A new HTML output option is another way to coordinate reviews. The HTML is made available through a local web service and can be accessed by remote clients using a web browser. Using this interface, you can display the messages that CodePeer outputs, filter them in various ways, view the source code associated with any message, and interactively provide audit information by submitting a review of any message. The review you submit is shared in that common database on the server. If what you want to do is integrate the review process into your own infrastructure, you can do that as well. CodePeer allows you to export messages in CSV format. 
You can then use anything that can understand a CSV file, such as spreadsheet software or Python scripts, to perform your reviews. When you're done, you could import the modified CSV file back into the CodePeer database. CodePeer 19 ships with efficiency improvements as it performs its resource-intensive integrative analysis. It now yields more precision in less time. The partitioning algorithm is smarter now, whereas the previous algorithm simply worked based off an alphabetical list of file names. The new algorithm creates a call graph. It uses that call graph to group program units in a way that is much more relevant to the structure of your application. Because each code peer partition is based on units that depend on each other more, the analysis within each partition is now more thorough and more complete. When code peer displays messages, it's sometimes hard to know where some of the values you see come from. So in GPS, code peer messages can be accompanied by a backtrace in the locations view that you can use to follow CodePeer's analysis and see how CodePeer found any particular issue. Because CodePeer is resource intensive, it can be useful to know where it's spending its time. CodePeer 19 outputs a detailed timing report that shows how much time was spent analyzing any particular file. So you can see whether CodePeer is spending its time equally across many files or spending a significant amount of extra time on particular files. And if you're trying to reduce your security vulnerability footprint, both Ada and CodePeer can help. Simply by having chosen Ada as a programming language, an entire class of CWE entries has already been eliminated. And then you can ask CodePeer to scan for other weaknesses on the CWE list and have it output a CWE security report. We also offer mentorship for several of our products, which includes CodePeer. Mentorship is AdaCore's technology adoption service. If you have a goal such as the integration of CodePeer into your development process, you could get paired with an AdaCore mentor, gain access to all necessary AdaCore tools, get the appropriate training, and also get some number of consulting visits. So, if you might foresee some difficulty getting into CodePeer and would like some help from AdaCore experts getting up and running, or perhaps you already use CodePeer but you want to improve and optimize your use of the tool, we are available and ready to help you. All of the improvements that we've made have been based on customer input. Try CodePeer 19 and let us know what you think. We're listening and we're here to help you build software that matters.